hey there, this is Koi. I'm going to show you a new trick for Ice Palace here. This is called uh, Icebreaker in some circles. Uh, we're just going to call it the Ice Palace clip for now. I'm sure it'll come up with a new name later. Uh, but this is a glitch that will let you clip through this barrier here and get over to the right side of Ice Palace very, very quickly. Uh, this lets you skip rooms such as the uh, Bumble Floor Room or the Southwest Night Room, the Conveyor Room, the Ice Palace Bomb Jump entirely, or the Penguin Lineup Room. Uh, very, very fast way to get over to these chests on the right side, uh, as well as just being a faster way to get to Cold Stair in general uh, for other speedruns that aren't randomized. But for Rando, it is a huge time save uh, because you, get, you need these chests anyway. So it's actually uh, not that bad to set up. Uh, so this room that we're in is to the right of this one. Uh, normally we come in here from the left, we hit the switch, and we dash back out to the left. Instead, we continue on to the right. Now our goal in this room is to clip one pixel into this barrier. You can see pressed up against it, my coordinates read F28. We, we need them to read F29. So the easiest way to do that is to turn around and land on F26. If I can do it. There we go. And uh, you just find a visual cue for this position. Uh, for example, uh, the left side of my shadow there is uh, clipped halfway between the light blue rectangle at the base of the doorway. You could also uh, hold the sword out and step backwards to F26. That will also work. Uh, and a visual cue for this one maybe is the black line intersecting the bottom of the shadow is uh, almost centered, but just a little to the right. Either way it works, it doesn't matter what direction you're facing as long as you're on F2, 6. So from this position, from this position we hold down right, and now we are clipped one pixel into that barrier. We're on F2, 9, that's what we're looking for. And all we have to do now is hit Samaria and let go of the D-pad. So very quickly, why let go of the D-pad? Not that hard, super easy. I'm gonna save state here just so I don't have to set it up over and over again. And then from here, all we have to do is move one frame left and then hold up or down. Got him. Really easy. I did that with a menu buffer there. You can do that with a uh, select buffer or a uh, sword buffer as well, although I missed it both of those times. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, the buffer definitely helps a lot. Uh, you can do it unbuffered like that. I can't believe I got that first try. That is a lot more challenging than it looks. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we know whether or not we got it on the first attempt because only for the first attempt, there is a visual cue we can use this, with this block. If we do it correctly, there will be no space in between the block and the barrier. If I can show you, so there you go. In between the block and the barrier, you see only black. That means that I have it on the first attempt there. And we can just hold up or down and push right on through. If we don't do it correctly on the first attempt, we go too far there will be a gap, a one pixel gap between the barrier and the block that shows a, uh, a uh, piece of the floor. That means I will not be able to do it from this attempt. Uh, if I hit up or down, we just push the block and it doesn't help us at all. However, that's not the end. You don't have to start over. You can actually continue with the same block indefinitely as long as you don't push the block too far south or too far north. You can just go like this indefinitely. And as long as the block doesn't go too far away from you, you'll be able to continue setting it up. All you have to do is just uh, do the do the tech again. Just uh, try and go one frame left and tap up or down. Don't hold it down, just tap. If I did it correctly, my sprite will face to the right. It, it looks down, so we're gonna try it again. Come on, look left, there you go. Tap up, and now you can see my sprite is facing to the right, and if I continue holding up, I push right on through. So once again, tap up. I'm looking up so we didn't get it, try again. Tap down, looking down, didn't get it. Tap down, looking down, didn't get it. Tap up, nope. Tap up, nope. Tap down, got it. There you go, that is how you save magic on this trick. You don't have to keep setting it up. One block is all you need, which means you'll only have to find, uh, uh, you'll have to find much less magic on your way to Cold Stair to still be okay without a magic extension. Uh, that was the whole trick, you guys. I really hope uh, that helped you. I. I think this is a really cool trick, and it, the, ram the ramifications for how it's going to change Ice Palace routing are immense. Uh, currently, this is a new glitch, though, so the ra Racing Council has deemed it banned until they make an official decision. Uh, so currently, do not use this in races, uh, but when they do come up with a decision, I will change the description of this video to show what that decision was. Hopefully, it stays, because I think this is really awesome, especially now that I found a, con a consistent way to not waste all my magic here. Uh, 
Again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments on Discord or on the stream itself. Uh, I'm always happy to answer questions. In fact, I love it. I love answering questions. I, my goal in life is to help as many people play this game as possible because this is the best game. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.